much television. Welcome back everybody to the next episode of the Pokemon Platinum Generation Forgotten Run. Hope you enjoyed watching me itch my nose. In the last episode, we I would say just barely beat the gym because their Roserade was kind of terrifying when it one shot Miss Pants, poor girl. But uh, we were able to get Clara to go into her trash form um, because I was doing battle in a building. And so I made sure to do the right amount of grinding to where they would hit level 20 in the building and boom evolved into Wormadam, which is now a bug steel type pokemon so they only have a single weakness which is double weakness to fire but also you know resist quite a bit of things so we are we've gotten we've received or we have cut and we have the ability to use it now because of the gym badge so we're going to this old chateau which is inside that forest uh where we had the old chateau where we had that woman with the chancy with us Boopy. Oh, ghost Pokemon? Ghost Pokemon. Ooh, that's not great. I should probably lead. It's time for Miss Pants to shine. So. Because she has. Faint attack. I'm immune, mother licker. I love Ghastly's design, it's so good, and Haunters is amazing, and I really find, and I know this might sound controversial, I find Haunters' evolution into Gengar to be one of the biggest shames of, of Gen 1 Pokemon design, because Haunter, to me, looks so much better. That whole floating with the with the, the disembodied hands coming off of it, to me, that is final evolution stuff right there. To me, Gengar loses so much of that creepy nature. I know there are some designs for him in some of the gens that make him really creepy, but I just think Haunter is, hands down, the best visual of that line. It appears as if it is glaring. Well, don't. Uh, well, okay, like D&D, &D, clear out a floor at a time. Old Chateau. Oh, we're still here, okay. Peace. Are there going to be other ghosts besides Ghastly, like, um, Mistrevious? Mistrevious? I don't, I don't know which one the... I don't think Fake Out would work, so it is normal. This would be a great place for Miss Pants to get some... Okay, Mean Look, I was like, I just don't want them to use Spike, because that... What, it took away 4 PP, that's a lot. <laughs> wonder how they decide, oh, how much PP should this move have? Oh, this one should have 30, this one should have 5, this one should have 15, like... Probably based off of some form of, like, power and secondary effects of what fairness is. Two attack, let's go. Miss Pants getting strong. Oh, she's not here. <gasps> Hot, ooh. Trash cans. Rare candy. And a sign. Never mind. Trash! And I will say, were we able to use a Ghastly, I do have, um, when I, you know, put this through the randomizer to make Miss Pants our starter, I also enabled, nice, I also enabled um, Impossible Evolution, so Haunter should evolve into Gengar, I think at level 37, something like that. And that plus two attack is doing the business already. It's empty. Empty. Honey, nice! What about these? I wonder when we get the item finder, because that, or dousing machine, whatever it's called in this game. But yes, how is everyone doing today? New question of the day to kind of cycle or to progress from where we did the last one is this time when concerning generation two, who is your favorite gym leader or your favorite gym in gen two? 
Mine is, surprise, surprise, Bugsy. Um, I really love the idea of having a bug type gym. Uh, a Pokemon typing that was so ignored, or not ignored, but just underappreciated in Gen 1. Um, and we got some really good bugs in Gen 2, like Ladyba is not bad, or aka Lil Feats, and Ariados is so good that we find them in the Elite Four. Like, are they the most powerful Pokemon? Of course not, but they have great use, and I think they're a whole lot of fun. Um, and man, her, her, their Scyther is just terrifying for a lot of people, especially if it gets its Fury Cutter going. Um, and then my secondary... Ah, you're dead. Uh, my secondary... I'm actually forgetting their name. Uh, no... Yeah. yeah, the Ghost Gym. I just thought it was really neat to have a Ghost Gym, albeit really annoying that they didn't use any of the new Ghosts on the Gym Leader. I was like, what? Why are you using the Ghastly Line when you have some new Ghosts? Like, use... I know that Gengar and Hunter are stronger, so have a Gengar as your ace, but like, you shep it. That'd be great. I wonder if I should like not waste all this in case there's like a boss here of sorts or a trainer. I don't really have anything else good against Ghastlies because that dang poison typing. Old Gatto. It heals all status problems of a Pokemon. So oh, nice. Pokemon magazines, Pokemon Pal, Pokemon Handbook, adorable Pokemon. Yeah, those drums coming out of nowhere, man. The painting's oddly in, in oddly good shape. All right, after this one, I'm going to start running from Ghastly's, but I'm going to fight this one because it should level me up. Level 19 for Miss Pants. We'll take it. Will she get two attack again? That'd be cool. Nice. 203. Okay, only one, but hey, bunch of speed. Remember, they're faster than Latios and Latios when it evolved. Um, yeah, I mean, I just know Baba Yaga will do just fine with Water Gun. I feel like up this, the middle is going to be where we need to go. Wait, don't you have Pursuit? You do. Let's see what does better, Water Gun or Pursuit. Because this is Stab. But Pursuit, I believe, is physical. Which... Bobbyog is better. Also, I learned it's Buizel. I thought it'd be Buoy. Like, Buizel. Like, again, like, Buoy. Like, you know, the thing that floats in the ocean. I guess, you know, according to Google, it's Buizel. It's just fine. Oh, I love Bobbyog so much. Chock full of Pokemon books and photo collections. You turn and then a Pokemon attack. There's so many ghosts in here. Like, wow. Pursuit. Did it look like snow? Guy. Nope. Sometimes when you have a mustache, like little like fibers from like your shirt or whatever will stick to uh, uh, your mustache. And then you lick your lips and you're like, Ew! Thread! So I'm like paranoid now. You might remember from the Honey episode that I had to redo it. Um, I don't want to have to do that, so I'm looking at my audio just to make sure it's there. But it's still working as it needs to. It's an old notebook. There's something scrawled in it. Something so... Peculiar showed should make off with the mother. Mother? 
The rest of the pages are blank. Treasure to the left. Oh my god, there's a lot of left. Why's that TV on? Dreadblade. There's a text engraved on the back of this attained plate. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. That ghost or dark? Dark. Ooh. You know what? Yep, give that to Baba Yaga. She's using Pursuit. Also, hold on. There are boxes. Found honey in one of them. Okay. We're checking. I'm suspicious of that TV. Is this the generation with Rotom? The TV has an oddly malevolent feel, as if it is staring. I wonder if it has to be nighttime, because it's not. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. All right, level 14, and we have the dread plate. Let's see if we can one-shot it. Is it 10 or 20% uh, damage increase? I believe it changes, darn, over time. Hey, look at me, meme. But with a level up, we might be able to one shot some level 14. having all kinds of problems with my face today. Wow, you do not need a lot of XP to grow. That's great. Okay, only one attack, but two special. That's fantastic. Making our water gun a bit more viable. Pokemon picture books. Huh, I can't rest here. I swear, if the eyes on that purple painting move, I'll be impressed. Borderline about ready to use a repel. 17, though, that's solid. Two shots for a lot of XP. I mean, not a lot. Well, for Bobby Yaga, it might be considered a lot. What's cool is I think all of the Pokemon I have are ones that should evolve in a relatively early time. So that means we'll see a lot of our evolutions quickly, which is fun. Still thinking about bringing in Jeremy. That was a small ch I think the painting eyes did move. They were looking pretty cool. They did move. I'm impressed. Good eye for detail back on the DS. Yes. All right. Let's see how much XP do I get? Is it worth still doing this? It kind of is. The encounter rate though. I'm gonna use repel after this. We're not getting anywhere. I'd love to be able to rest in here, but there was a little girl in that room. Substitute, very cool. Yep, the eyes follow you. That is super cool, depending on your room. Ah, uh, oh, I thought that might be a hidden. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that TV now that we saw the little girl.
I'm gonna move my clock to be nighttime. Let's do that, let's see. Clock. Make it 11 p.m. Bam. Nighttime. Let's go visit that TV again. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears as if it wants, if it will come out, want to thump. Oh, thumps. Is it Rotom? Level 20. You should be able to live a stone. Ooh, thunder. Oh, wait, I'm water. Oops. <laughs> um. I didn't expect you to have that. Oh, and you can't be put to sleep when you're uproaring. Are you kidding me? Really? The moves, the thing, they're like, you know what they're gonna do? I can't let Miss Pants die again. That is really bad for her love for me, which really screws up the move return. I can live two of these, right? Yes, so that's 20 damage. Let's do this again. And then I think I'll switch to Clara, who's our bulkiest one right now. Yeah, because I wanted I wanted to put it to sleep, but don't crit, okay, good. Uh, so let's go to Clara, see what they look like from their back sprite. We haven't seen this yet. It's actually kind of cool. I don't have any status on you. No, I don't. Wonder what our um. Will it tell me? No, I don't think it will. No. I thought it would like show me something, but no. I just wanted to see if it would be like, oh, it's this type. But no. I know I clicked on tackle. I was trying to be cautious in case I could actually hit this because I don't want to. Let's see. Um. Okay, double team. Man, I wish I had Pete with a so I don't have. Oh, good. <sighs> I don't believe I have any status besides hypnosis. And sing, I guess. Nope. Okay. Well, let's uh, throw balls in. Yeah, especially now, sing and hypnosis aren't going to hit with two double teams up. <sighs> two shakes. And now it's impossible. Well, for the time being. I do like having a steel type. It's really nice. Uh, sure, let's just try a nice ball. Just for fun, because it looks cool. Didn't think so. It's for weaker Pokemon, which they're not. So I know that Rotom is um, programmed as a mythical, but they're not one. Um, I would argue they technically qualify for the Generation Forgotten run for me. Um, 
believe I've used one very briefly. Oh, darn. Uh, but really not a lot of experience with them. And I'm a little interested, to be honest. Having an electric type would be kind of cool. I, haven't, I don't think I've had that since the Gen 1 Forgotten Run when we had uh, Jolteon. It's if we can catch it, though. Doesn't look like we will. Not even a jiggle. And they've certainly got the catch rate of a legendary. Sure. Show you that we love you. Oh gosh, now you use Thundershock. Doesn't steal resist? Nope. All right, who wants experience points? Hmm. I guess Brielle. Oh, wait. No, it's got things up. We hit? <laughs> okay, that's unexpected. Well, we've got you in the red. We'll throw our netball for water and bugs. Dang it. I was really hoping. It would have been cool. Would have been neat to have a Rotom, but I'm not going to... I'm not going to reload to, you know, get it. Um, Drifloon is another really interesting ghost, as well as another flying type I'm really interested in. So it's just, it's unlikely we would have used them anyways. Ooh. Either way, we win this. It's fine. And we win. And you'll grow a level. Good job, Riel. I don't know what level they evolve. I did not look that one up, and I don't want to be told. Nice. Level 17. Can we get a special attack? Ugh, darn. I want, like, Magical Leaf. Rotom disappeared into the TV set. Does that mean I can come back and try again, like, on a new day? Or is that just a one-time thing only and you're done? A little sad that it was only Ghastly's and that we didn't run into Shuppets or, um, Shuppets or, uh, Mistrevious or Mistrevious. I think it's Miss Magius is the, the later evolution. Yeah, I believe so. Who do I want to level up now? I need to figure out. Probably Brielle. Um, she just needs to get... She's just got... It's just... Let me guess. It's... Physical. Oh! It's not. I thought that would be physical. Perfect! Alrighty then. We're, we're good. I know it's reliant on weight for the power, but it's still better than a bat. Maximum power of 50. I was certain something called Grass Knot was going to be a physical move. I am so gosh darn glad with that. Man, this team got, we got kind of wrecked in there. Oops. Oh, right. I need to rescue the bike person from the galactic 
headquarters. That's what hap- I- Gosh, I'm smart. I'm real smart. Maybe I was thinking of Grass Hammer when I thought of Grass Knot. Cause, I mean, that is, of course, better be a physical move or else I'll just riot. What was to the east, however? That was the Paul Dialga statue, whoever that is. Over yonder. There's a, there's a spot up there. Really, Zubats? Not what I expected. Get it away, get it away, get it away, you know. I thought we ran into a, um, a chop in here. Oh, that's cool. Good old Metatite. I think I used... Red Mine Shao. Really? Can't escape. Okay. Unleash it. I mean, you're not very heavy, but... Confusion will be my epitaph. I'll sing that song for the rest of my life. It's a great song from King Crimson. Check it out if you haven't heard it already. It's called Epitaph. What the? Zubat, doesn't that sound like a ninja bursting from cover? No, it sounds like a Zubat. But it means you're gonna have a Zubat, doesn't it? Ninja Boy Zack. Can't use you. you. I can't use half my team here in the case that it has wing attack. Does it though? Got him. Astonish. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Honestly, I might just growth. Even though it double resist. Yeah, I mean, whatever though. We'll use growth. I believe it double resists. Um what I have, but it doesn't seem to have wing attack like I thought it would. So this is a great time to get stronger, heal up, let that do the business. And maybe he'll have something that's not a Zubat, though I presume they would have more poison types. Or maybe dark types, I guess. And they get bite early. I thought they didn't, in Gen 1, I think it's like level 20 or 21 that they get it. I remember raising a Zubat in Viridian Forest. Uh, when I was a kid. <sighs> Don't do that. I'd actually like to try to wait that out as long as I can now. And we're gonna wreck. We're gonna wreck shop! I love Leech Seed. We will never get rid of it on this Pokemon. Snapped out of confusion. That has to kill. What? I mean, maybe it's only like power 10, but like, what do we have? Four or five growths? I am surprised. I'm quite surprised. Please don't supersonic. Very good. Give me one health back. I got that one other chair. Cherry's just like. I'm just happy to be here. It's probably the one absorbing all the leech seed. And we'll switch to... I guess Bobby out. We don't really... Yeah, we don't have rock. We don't have electric. We don't psychic. Yaga. Oh, Miss Yaga. Oh, Miss Yaga. 
By the way, I used to sing a song to Miss Pants. And I'm pretty sure I sang it in a Let's Play. I cannot remember what it was. If anybody happens to come across me talking about the song I've sing to Miss Pants, could you give me the timestamp in the video and say, hey, this is the song you sang about your cat? I know it's a long shot, but I'd love to remember it. Because, like, I have new songs, but I want to remember what this older one was. It's back when she was our only cat. Because now I sing to the cats, like, with uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, like, for Gaius. You are the Mr. Toes. Mr. Toes. He is the Mr. Toes. Oh, my Mr. Toes. Wait, it's... Oh, I think my clock must have said, Nope, this is the real time. That would have been a great find prior to the Rotom. Boom, doom, doom, doom. And check my clock I actually did it. Yep, it reverted back to real time. Cool. Do you want to check out over... Oh. Oh! That... I was just talking about how we don't have psychic types. That is such a cool Pokemon to get early on in the game. I have no idea how they evolve, if it's, if it's level up, if it's... Rock Boy? See how Mount Coronet towers above us? I want to be big like that one day. I don't know if that's how growing up... Also, you're an adult, Lewis. Yeah, did, yeah, did. Well, not only are you a heavy boy, but you're also quad weak to this, so... Take it on the face! And you're not a great special defensive mon. I think Mount Cornet is going to be a great place for Brielle. Yes! Onyx! I'm sure you'll be fast. Dude, this is Brock. In disguise. Taunting me. Just reminding me of the, the, the concern that you gave me back against Rourke. That was his name, right? Rourke. I'm guessing like 450. Oh, close, 415. It had the four on the... F okay. Good defense. Your loom before me is a giant presence. $576. That's a weird place for a patch of grass. Show me what you got! Is this where the rare Pokemon live? I mean... They're fine. I was excited with Pete to have a Pokemon with the, um... The absorbing move lines, because I've, I've, I never really used Oddish as much as I thought they were amazing, because I always basically used, um, Bulbasaur. Um, and so it just would have been cool, you know, but I don't mind having, well, I don't know what they're going to get. Maybe they will get the absorb line. I don't know. My guess is they'll be like the razor leaf line. Look at these beautiful wings. Ah, crap. Flying trainer. Alexandra. That's a beautiful name. I have a friend named Alexandra. She's good people. And she has really cool eyebrows. Level 17. We are not... And that's what I think is neat that happens in these Gen Forgotten runs is that we don't level up <clears throat> a ton. Like, I don't grind all that often. I know I just did it for Clara, but that was because it was very specific. I was like, I don't know when I'll be inside a building again. Um for battles, so I also at the time had not remembered that we were going to the, um, <laughs> the Galactic Headquarters, which I assume we'll have combats in. Um, ooh, perfect! I do wish you were a water normal type, though, because then this would be stab, and that would be cool! What does Endeavor do? Oof.
Can you like quick attack, please? That's fine. That's great. You're wasting your time. I got swift mother liquor. You gotta fly into the air to dodge me. <laughs> and we're faster. I dig that. Come on, get a high roll. Yes! Ooh, a critical hit. That's what I call a high roll. Level. I was wondering why we got so little. I forgot we swapped. Good. We got some defense and two attack. <clears throat> that was a hoot. I should have said that when I killed it. Dang it. Can I see it? Maybe they're especially defensive. I don't know. We do have the uh, Dark Plate or Dread Plate. Will that wake me up? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> it woke me up. That is uh, lovelier than a piece of bread. Let's go. I hope I learn... What is it, Aqua Jet, the quick attack water? Because it's physical. Is there, Bobby Yaga seems to be a physical attacker. When do they evolve? My, my guess will be in the 20s, like 25, 27. <sighs> so Erica in the comments was like, man, you were doing, and I'm paraphrasing, of course, but they're like, man, all that bide training would have been great if Cricketoon had taunt on them. <gasps> You're a forgotten mod that I'm allowed to use. What are you, psychic? I feel like you should be psychic strap. Rap? I'm okay, but they have confusion. Now, if I remember right, they evolved into Chimeco, right? And these are Pokemon I've never used before. So they are literally on the list I made of Generation Forgotten Run Mons I can use. Hmm. I was freed from rap. Don't growl me, it doesn't even do- Actually, growl me away, it doesn't do anything. I guess I only have my Great Ball, but that's fine. Oh, critical hit. Can we catch it? <laughs> Chingling's data was added to the Pokedex. Chingling, the bell Pokemon. There is an orb inside its mouth. When it hops, the orb bounces all over and makes a ringing sound. Eight inches tall. 1.3 pounds. And his footprints are just little dots. So cute. Um, you look like a... You look like a Nancy. Little, little Nancy. We might end up using them someday. Because I am curious to, you know, do some, like, off-screen grinding where I can have a rotation of Pokemon and not just a static team for the rest of the game. I think that could be a very interesting and different way to play in this gen run um, to where we really utilize as many of the forgotten Pokemon as possible. So between episodes, I might do some grinding, um, but I'm also going to look up when they evolve because I do not want to evolve them off screen. So let me... Let's first take a look at them, see if I've if I've if I've interest. So these two are the ones I'm currently 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 curious about. Nancy, you are careful, whatever that does. Levitate gives full immunity to ground type moves. That's amazing. I guess with the 
the ropes above your head. I wonder if you're like Burmy where they're actually longer. Or like Burmy's attached to something, I should say. <sighs> I mean, it's not a bad special attack. So yeah, I don't know. I might do some off-screen grinding just to get them to like, I don't know, 19? But we'll see. Thank you all for watching though. In the next episode, we will go into the, um, the Galactic Tower. In fact, I'm going to go stand in front of it so that I don't forget. Um, but then it was like, you couldn't have done that early in the episode. Well, I wanted to kill some time so that this could be the start of an episode. And it's not like I wasted time because all those things to write, we had to fight anyway. So now we get to just zoom right past them when it is time. So thank you all so much for watching. Do take care of yourselves. But until next time, bye-bye for now.